Mogadishu was once one of the most beautiful cities in the world. But that was a long time ago. <laughs> Ibrahim Adan Mohammed shows me what used to be his home. He's old enough to remember a better Somalia. Before we had good governance, security and peace. But then the war came and destroyed it all. Somalia doesn't just need peace, it also needs a way of feeding its people. One of the worst famines in living memory has filled most of Mogadishu with starving people. Mariam Mohammed has spent the last five years regularly on the move. She has five children and her mother to feed. Every day is a struggle. When you have a good government and security, you can live with your family, you can be independent. But these days there is no work. We have to live here, in a camp. Most Somalis will tell you things were better in 2006. That's when the city enjoyed a brief period of stability under the Islamic Courts Union. But then Ethiopia invaded Somalia, backed by Washington. Five years ago, the West's fear was that Somalia would become a base for extremists. And that is exactly what has happened. The Islamic Courts Union was replaced by the Islamist group Al-Shabaab, which has links to Al-Qaeda. Although Al-Shabaab has weakened in the last few months, recent attacks have shown it can still strike back in Mogadishu. One of Al-Shabaab's main targets in the city are the journalists of Shabele radio station. Two of its directors were recently killed. Their replacement says the Islamist group thrives off fear. People still believe that Al-Shabaab uh, might have ability really to take over, you know, some districts of some areas they had been pushed back early or vacated and also to commit brutal action as they did, you know, earlier. That fear hasn't stopped signs of life returning to Mogadishu. For the first time in five years, people are beginning to rebuild. But peace needs both investment and security, something that continues to elude Somalia.